Good morning, everyone. It's a little after six in the morning uh, here in the lovely country of Switzerland. And I'm ready to give you a little Swiss indoor garden update. So it's morning time and I come down here in the mornings and uh, work on the, the plant room. As you can see, everything's up and running. I opened everything up already to show you guys a little update. Peppers and uh, tomatoes are going really well. We have some tomatoes down here that are getting ready to ripen up. And then we've got uh, quite a few tomatoes coming. Lots of uh, peppers, jalapenos are doing really well, plants are just full of them, they're all in here as well. I'm trying to get used to this uh, camera, yeah and I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I started Swiss Indoor Gardens about three years ago, uh, right before COVID actually started. I, before I owned a diving business here in Switzerland for a number of years, and I was an instructor trainer for cave diving and deep water diving and specializing in rebreathers and uh, exploration and stuff like that. And when COVID happened, uh, the organization that I work with, they changed a lot of their rules and how we do stuff and made it, tried to make it much, much easier for everyone. And, and I just couldn't go along with the whole making it easier. It's a very dangerous sport. And uh, I felt like what they were trying to do was putting not only myself at risk, but the students that I was teaching at risk as well. Although I think their lawyers probably thought otherwise. So I decided to shut my business down and concentrate on my growing. I wanted to be more self-sufficient with the family. Know where my food's coming from. What's going inside of it. Because after what happened with COVID and around all of the whole vaccine thing, I didn't trust the government, none. I didn't have a lot of trust before, but now it's even less. So I decided to, my wife and I decided to move out to the country and buy a small farm and start our growing business more on a full-time basis. We have a few clients that we work with in this exact thing, it was indoor growing. Anywhere from shipping containers to small rooms and houses. Some celery. Next crop of fennel coming. And now, given in the state that the world seems to be in, I have to honestly say I feel pretty pretty good because we have a lot of food stored as we are preppers and uh, take the prepping very seriously and we can grow a lot of our own food here we can expand this whole operation quite large this light right here can actually be unplugged from there and then we can put uh, that's exactly what these are these big grow lights that's sitting over here right there those are one and a half meter grow lights that we can replace in this area and then put plants all along the top, all in the middle here and just have it all open and put lights on the top. You see I have plug-ins already installed. So I can expand this a lot if I had to grow inside uh, more food. Right now it's not necessary. Right now it's more of, this is a showroom where I bring people to look at the the plants and how it's done. I also do some teaching in here on how to do all this. This is all soil over here on this side. 
this is hand watered every couple days. I go through and hand water it uh, with uh, either water or nutrient solution, depending on the schedule. This tent here is a quarantine tent. There's a sick pepper in there that got infested with some some uh, aphids. So I separated it. I'm trying to control the bug population, the bug problem. Because once bugs start on the inside of your grow room, you have to be very, very careful and uh, try to get rid of them as quick as possible without using any pesticides or chemicals or anything like that. And we don't use any of that stuff. So uh, my solution is put the plant in quarantine and make sure that it's not spreading uh, to the rest of the plants. This is another reason why I have uh, tents is because I can control the spread of uh, bugs and diseases a little bit more. Um, and also we have four cats that love to scratch around and everything so this also protects the plants. As you can see the kohlrabi are doing pretty well. They're a little slow to the go but they're coming. All in all it's going well. Let's just hope that uh, cooler heads prevail in our world situation that's happening and that somebody eventually starts talking about peace instead of everyone trying to kill everybody else. You guys hang in there. I'll give you an update in a few days. We're going to do some harvesting here and uh, I'll give, shoot a little video of the harvest and we'll go from there. This is Gary from Swiss Indoor Garden and Prepping Channel.